Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm back playing some more Pokemon Crystal, and this is a randomized catch -em all um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the game. So, if you guys remember or watched last time, we left off, we had 32 Pokemon. And we got, just got our third gym badge. We made it all the way to Ecruteak. And our Haunter is level 28. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is... Get Surf. So to get Surf, you need to beat all these Kimono girls. And then that old man down at the bottom there will give you the TM. Or HM, excuse me. Don't know why I said TM. <clears throat> so they usually have... This is weird, because they usually have all the evolutions. Um, so it's very strange that they still have... This girl still has an Eevee. We'll see how we can do. I want to check something really quickly. I just want to check the levels of the... It is on two. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we beat the one Kimono Girl. One shot at her Eevee. Probably not going to be as easy to beat the other ones, especially if they have better Pokemon, I would say. Just going to check OBS really quickly. Yep, everything seems okay. Alright. So I think from here on out, we're pretty good to to play so let's go ahead and get into it not to this will be an easy kill as well i promise these girls aren't all going to be this easy or at least they shouldn't be they're not as easy in the real game because evolutions are pretty good 265 experience though so i think in this episode we're going to try to get to at least like 50 55 pokemon and uh i'm hoping we can get the fourth and the fifth gym badge i'm not promising anything but i hope also, if I remember correctly, um, we have an Eevee. Well, it's not probably not an Eevee in this waiting for us down in Goldenrod. But I'll probably not get that until I get Fly. Simply because I don't want to take the chance of fighting any of the trainers down there that I didn't fight on the way up. So, Crab Hammer, that's a good move. Electrode is, is is a super fast Pokemon. He's pretty good, really. <clears throat> no match for a level 28 Haunter, though. It's just really not a fair fight at all. I'm going to take one of my headphones out. Because <clears throat> the game's kind of loud for me, so... Ooh, Vampy. Vampy's a cool Pokemon. A lot of people don't know this, probably, but you can find him... Um, like, immediately when you start the game. If you go up to that route, just, like, right above. Oh, my God. He's there, level 2 vampies. But they're super rare. Oh, my God. Double kick, you better kill. This isn't gonna kill. Okay, whew. I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon. What do I have? I want something that'll kill. He'll kill any of this stuff. I cannot believe this Vampy has hurt me so much. Earthquake is just so good. If he doesn't kill this thing, I was going to say. That would have been insane. Alright, Casper. Get him. Get him. Alright, this should get us to the next level. Yep. Level 29. We're getting up there, man. Once we evolve, evolve into Gengar, <clears throat> we're going to be so good. I'm going to heal. Really quickly, I don't want to uh, take the chance of dying. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know that I've ever actually lost. I, I can't heal. I don't have anything to heal. I, I swear I had potions. I guess not. I'm not sure exactly, uh, like, what happens if you lose to these girls. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've lost to them. Do you have to restart from the beginning or not? Swineub. This could get dangerous because... This could get very dangerous. Sacred Fire might be my best bet here since he... Is he ground in ice? I know Pilot Swine is. Yeah, okay. Shoo. I wasn't sure about Swine. But I was, like, I, I thought he was, but you never know. Sometimes, like, as they evolve, they get... You know, they, they add on types. Alright, now we should be able to get Surf from this guy. Yep, it was a treat to watch. HMO3. 
Now we have to beat Morty, the Ecritique gym leader, to be able to use Serve. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that won't be too much of a, a challenge. His highest Pokemon, I think, is level 25. So we're 29. It's weird, too, because he usually has Ghost-type Pokemon. So I'm going to be the one with the Ghost... Excuse me, a Ghost-type Pokemon. He's probably not going to in this, so... Kind of a weird thing there. All right, we got to go up to the Burnt Tower here to see Suicune. Morty will be in here. That's him over on the right with the brown. This guy's obsessed with Suicune. All right, now we got to go... Beat our rival. There's also a uh, Pokemon in here that we can get encounters on, so I'm, I think I'm going to try to get an encounter real quick. Or not. I'm not going to, you know, waste an hour trying to do it. <clears throat> we'll have enough chances to catch Pokemon. You know, we've only got three gym badges. There's 16 in this game, so. All right, chat, what have you got? Oh my god. This fight just got a lot harder. Ouch. I don't know if I can win this. Safeguard, that's a good first step. Come on. Casper, you gotta win this fight, dude. You gotta pull it out. This is gonna be tough. Oh, God. I might die to this. Not even kidding. Oh, my God. Okay, it only did 30. That's less than I thought it would do. I should have bought potions and stuff before I started this fight. But if we lose, it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> Umbreon. That's not uh, not good. Or is it? Is Shadow Ball super effective against Dark? Nope, not very effective. That's what I thought. But his super effective against me. Yep. I knew it went one way. I just couldn't remember which way it was. Sacred Fire. Come on, you gotta kill. It's only level 18. I'm 11 levels higher than it. Oh, no. I'm dead. Wow. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing. There's really no point. I'm gonna lose anyway, so... Wow, it has Arrow Blast and Bite. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna have to buy Revives and uh, Super Potions. I should have bought them the first time, but I forgot before I came in here. I was even down there by the mart, and I just completely forgot. Quilava, who is a second of all form of my favorite starter of any gen ever. Cyndaquil. All right, I think one more Pokemon, and then we can go buy the items that we need. Wing attack, doesn't matter. He's going to hit first. All right. It's all right. Just wipe it up. All right, let's go over here. Don't know why I took the long route. Okay, we need... Revives. Two revives. And some super potions. I'm gonna sell some stuff. I probably have TMs I can sell. Sweet scent. Um, endure. Lock on. Um, milk drain. I can sell that too. I'll even sell dig. All right. Buy one more revive. All right, now we'll buy some more super potions. All right, save a little bit of money for Pokeballs later on. And then we should be good now. Also, I, I can go back down to Goldenrod after I get the Eevee. I can also get the, <clears throat> the Pokemon, which is usually Kenya, which it'll still be named Kenya, but it won't be the same Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Here's an encounter. This is what I wanted to get. Oh! Celebi! Dude. 
I might have to bring this thing with me. Celebi's my second favorite Pokemon of all time. I don't know that I can hit it, though. It'll probably survive, or it'll probably die. <clears throat> Come on, get in the ball, Celebi. Please, please, please. It's going to be very hard to catch it, though. Giga Drain. If it had Psychic and Giga Drain, I might switch to it. Or, or at least train it in tandem with my Casper. I'm going to try one more, and then I'll start. I'll try to injure it. I think it might survive a headbutt. Oh, I thought we had it. All right, it's only showed us Giga Drain so far, so we can't get too excited. But it's definitely something I will go to the Pokemon Center and put in my party to see what it has. All right, I'm going to try a headbutt. Don't kill, please. Oh, my God. I thought for sure it killed. <laughs> we've gotten so lucky in this playthrough sometimes. Like, the stuff left at 1 HP or we've been left at 1 HP. Yes! Mark Celebi on the card. That was so freaking awesome. Time travel Pokemon. The best Pokemon movie of all time, by the way. Although, I can't say that because Pokemon 2000 is a freaking classic. Pokemon 2000 and Pokemon the first movie. Amazing. But the Celebi one, also really cool. Oh, no, where am I going? Don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's see what the, what the Celebi has, and then we'll heal our Pokemon. All right, deposit. Um, what can we deposit? We can deposit Dodrio, I think, right? I mean, regardless, we can deposit stuff, and if we need to, oh, I need to, I want to get Suicune and Ursaring out too, just for like in case I uh, die and I need to get some stuff out. Deposit Quilava. I'm not going to deposit Seal. I'll deposit Blissey. I think Blissey might have had Flash or, or Cut or something. Alright, Ursaring. And Suicune. Alright, now we've got a good range of decent Pokemon. Let's check them out. Let's check what moves they have. <clears throat> How's our egg doing? It's got to be close to hatching. Yeah, yeah, it must be close to hatching. I'll be excited to see what that is. Alright, Celebi, 50 health. Wow, it's moves uh, not great. It's got th 30s across the board in the uh, the stats, though. I don't know what that sound was. Did you guys hear that? It was weird. 68 health for Ursaring. Also not a good move set. What about Suicune? Oh my god. Boy, that thing has a move set. This is, doesn't have a lot of PP, though. I'm not going to switch to it. But I do have a lot of, like I said, good Pokemon, just in case mine... My Casper. Did I already heal my Pokemon? I think I did, but I'll do it again just in case. You know, it's like, it's one of those things where, like, right as you get done playing a game, you're like, alright, I'm gonna save it. Wait, did I save it? Alright, I'll save it again. You know what, I'll save it again just to make sure. You know, it's like, you know, at least that's what I do. I'm like, oh man, just in case I didn't save it and I imagined it, I'll do it again. Alright, now we should be able to beat this guy. I'm tempted to, t to put in Suicune for this fight. Just because it has Hydro Pump. But then again, I don't... I want to need to be training my, my Haunter. Because eventually the fights are going to get to be where... It's going to be very hard for my Haunter. Like, I'm going to have to battle the Elite Four with just a Haunter. Or I'm going to catch some... I'll catch those the Legendaries and... And they'll help me. Alright, I should be good. I should be able to kill this Ho-Oh. Unless it uses Flamethrower like four times, then I won't be able to. Alright, Casper, give me a critical. Just for the heck of it. This shouldn't hurt that much. Like, I'd be surprised if it does more than like 20. Yeah, okay, that's actually really good. I was going to give Ho the benefit of the doubt that its stats are so good that it would do more than it did. Perfect fight. All right, now we got to fight against our worst enemy here. Although, if we didn't use Shadow Ball the first time against this, we might have been able to kill it. We're almost level 30. All right, Umbreon, do your worst. Is Headbutt or Sacred Fire better here, honestly? 
Sacred Fire's got to be the play, right? Although I do think... Umbreon has really good defense and special defense, I think. Like, it's pretty tanky. Uh-oh. This is not good. Not, 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 not good. Hit through, hit through. Yes! Perfect, Casper. Perfect. I could not ask for a better fight so far. Although I am still confused, so it's not perfect. I guess I could ask for a better fight. Pidgeot. This could get very scary. And by could get, I mean this is going to be very scary. I just hope it doesn't use something that's going to just wreck me. Oh, it almost died. Alright, Solar Beam. Weird. Headbutt should kill. Although, it may not because my attack's bad, but it did, okay. What else? Reiku? Yeah, we knew Reiku, actually. I don't know why I got so excited about that. We knew that was a thing. Shadow Ball. And then I'll Sacred Fire it, just for good measure. Belly Drum. That's a... Uh, that was not very smart of you, my dude. I guess he didn't know I was going to hit him so much. <clears throat> but, so it wasn't a plat... I mean, I guess it was a bad play, because it was his last Pokemon, but it wasn't a... You know, absolutely terrible play. It just happened that I hit him a bunch. All right, now we get to see the three legendary dogs, which aren't going to be the, the legendary dogs on this. They're going to be random Pokemon. But they'll still have the sprites of the legendary dogs. Yo, what up? There's Reiku. There's Entei. And there's Suicune. Which you've already seen Reiku in this game. I don't know what Suicune's doing in this. Just battle me. Fight me. I dare you. All right, now, whatever, this guy's... However you pronounce this guy's name, I've always said Yusin. I don't know how to say it, though. <clears throat> and now we can fight Morty. I think there's there's items down here, though, so we should check these out. We need Strength, which we get in Olivine City to move that, so I guess we can't get the items yet. We did get an encounter, though. Let's see if it's something we don't have. It is indeed Slowking. Cool. Slowking, awesome-looking Pokemon. Especially for people who are like, there's like a, a cult of people who like really like Slowpoke. I'm not one of them, but it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's going to be very hard to catch too. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. This thing has Horn Drill. Come on. Get in the ball. Just get in the ball. Oh, this is going to hurt bad. Very bad. Ugh. Pokeballs are not doing it for me right now. I don't really have anything I can hurt things with. I mean, I guess I do. I could could use Celebi or something. That's probably what I'll end up having. To, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch to, to something else. I probably don't want to put Celebi in just because uh, its moves are super effective. So it's probably going to kill it if I put that in. Wow. Uh... Seismic Toss, Clamp. Hmm. I'm gonna use Seismic Toss here. It shouldn't kill. Please don't kill. Okay. Hydro Pump. Not gonna hurt me too much. I'd be surprised if it does 10 damage. Yeah, it did exactly 10 damage. So I guess I'm surprised, but I'm not. So it's, it's a powerful move. It's just... Octazooka, pretty good move. That's uh, Octillery's... Special move. Artillery, also an awesome Pokemon. This should catch now. Yeah. Alright, Slow King should be here. Yep. I know where some Pokemon are. Well, I, I can, like... It's, it's pretty easy to tell, like, you know, the, the starters are at the beginning. You know, the legendaries are at the end. And the other Pokemon are going to be scattered throughout. So, up to 34. Let's heal our Pokemon and fight Morty. And once we get over to the left, in between Ecruteek and Olivine, there are going to be quite a few Pokemon we can catch there, probably. There usually are. Or usually is, I guess. If I speak proper grammar. Now, there's a trick to Morty's gym. 
and it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I may not remember it exactly on the first try. But I'm pretty sure this guy you have to battle. I could be mistaken there. But I think he has like six Pokemon, and I think you have to battle him. I think you might have to battle every trainer. I don't even remember. <clears throat> oh my god. Hey, we have the... At least we have his area now. Let me see. Shadow Ball is going to be a one-hit kill. Boosh. Get him. Level 31. What am I going to evolve? Agility? Nah. Don't need to learn agility. He's, he's already plenty fast. <clears throat> going to Shadow Ball this guy as well. And that'll be two down. Now, did he have four? He had, what, five Pokemon? Yeah. Clefairy, this should take one double kick, and it should be out for the count. Just barely, though. Our attack is very bad as Haunter. That's one thing I did not randomize, is the stats. I wanted the, you know, I didn't want, like, Cat Caterpie being the most OP, you know. I wanted it to be... Easy to tell exactly who is... Is this hit? Yeah, exactly. I wanted them to keep their stats, basically. Like, you know legendary Pokemon are good. It just makes it le like less random, if that's a thing. Like, you know exactly what you're getting into for each fight. Otherwise, it would just be a clown fiesta. Every fight, you wouldn't know what to expect. Even more so than I already don't know what to expect. Uh... I think Shadow Ball is our best bet here. Shadow Ball is normally our best bet. One shot at him. I did not expect that. I guess I mean his Pokemon aren't that high a level, so not that surprising. I think I got. I think I go up, and I think if I go left, I'll go back down. Yep. Okay. So I, need, I you have to battle the trainers, and then you go to the left and up, and you just keep doing it that way. There may be trainers you can skip in here, but honestly, it's not that important. It's a good experience, and it doesn't, t you know, it's not that much out of our way. I'm not speedrunning the game, I'm just playing it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think Headbutt will kill, or at least it'll get close. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. That was my plan, it just flinches, and I kill it in two shots. We don't have to waste any Shadow Balls, we don't have to waste any Sacred Fires. Zubat, <clears throat> same plan. With these Pokemon that aren't very good, like you're not really in much risk of dying, so you just you know use the move that you that isn't super important to you. Now if I got poisoned there, that would have been a big deal, but didn't end up happening. So All right, medium grace defeated. Plus we get very valuable money by battling these trainers. And as we've seen, we just spent like $10,000 or more. So it's very important. Especially when we get uh, low on Pokeballs. Alright, Swinub, we know we can just Sacred Fire this bad boy and he'll die. Okay, we missed. Not gonna waste another Sacred Fire. Now it's time to just... Especially with our accuracy down... This is not great. I hate the move Mud Slap. It's so annoying. Just hit. Ugh. Here we go. It's a never-ending cycle of terrible. There we go. Now, please kill. Okay, thank you. That could have gotten very bad. If that didn't kill. Okay, so... That's where I was talking about. I don't remember it 100%, but I knew you had to do this and this and this. Oh, I don't know why I tried to go up there. I knew you had to go back over. I don't know what I was trying. I did know what I was doing. I just, for some reason, was an idiot and didn't do it. Oh, Christ. I think we determined in the last couple fights with this thing that we need to Sacred Fire it. Otherwise, we're not 100% sure if it's going to die. It's pretty strong. Oh my god, we might not kill it with Sacred Fire. It's not. Okay. Are we dead? 
Nope, okay. Don't... Okay, don't confuse. Thank God. Headbutt, please kill. It may not kill, though. Alright. None of the other Pokemon can be as bad as that one was. So we can take some solace in that fact. Um... Shoot. I guess Shadow Ball. It's our best bet. Just to one-shot it. Oh my god, it didn't one-shot it. I'm gonna headbutt it from here. And if we hit it, it'll die. Sweet. I'm running out of PP, though. But I think I'll have just enough to beat Morty, so... War Turtle. Just Shadow Ball this bad boy. Straight to Oblivion. It may not die in one hit, though. Yeah. I'll just uh, headbutt it from here. Okay, it didn't freeze. That was my worry. That should be, yeah, quite a bit of experience. 612. Alright, then I'll, uh, Super Potion, and we'll fight. Mr. Mordster. Alright, 10 Super Potions. It's quite a bit. Alright. You're going down, Morty. You are going down! Yep, 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 we're now, we know you're talking about Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is uh, very hard to catch on this game, so thank the lord it's not going to be a Ho-Oh, most likely. I won't say not going to be, because crazier things have happened. Double kick the Persian. It may not die in one hit, yeah. It's going to take two hits, unless it criticals here. Nope. And, of course, it double teams, right? It can't just let us kill it in peace. All right, we hit it, though. This is going to give us a ton of experience. Okay, really? 666 experience? You've got to be kidding me. Muck. I wonder if Shadow Ball or Sacred Fire is our best bet here. I'm going to try Shadow Ball, but I'm... Maybe Sacred Fire. That's our best bet. I'll Sacred Fire from here. Sludge Bomb's a very good move. Didn't do much to us, though, since we're okay. That's twice in a row, I think, that Sacred Fire's missed. When it hadn't missed, like, any before that, I don't think. So we have one Sacred Fire left. For if there's any crazy... Uh, grass types or anything, or steel. Steel's probably our worst draw here. Oh, that's a level 25. It's just a gold bat, really? Uh, Shadow Ball, I guess. Probably gonna take two hits to kill. Wow, it won't even die in two hits. Unless we get very lucky, but this is gonna increase his defense. Won't matter for Shadow Ball, but... Unless we get a really good range, it's not gonna kill. Wow. Maybe it does matter. Is Shadow Ball physical? Surely not. Maybe it is, though. Wow. Are we dead? We may be dead. We are dead. Oh my god, that gold bat is so tanky. Alright, I'm gonna send out Celebi. Get some experience on Celebi just for the heck of it. You missed, son. Get wrecked. Celebi will kill you. In one hit, watch this. One hit kill. It didn't actually kill. <laughs> That was surprising to me. I'm dead. If it survived that, I would have switched to this Pokemon immediately. Alright, Suicune. My gut says to go for Thunder here, but my mind says don't go for Thunder. <laughs> it's dead anyway. Why am I not healing my... My Haunter. That's really stupid of me, not to use a revive. I don't know what I'm doing. I've forgotten how to play. Alright. We're good now. That's all we had to do. Now he'll kill this thing. Really, Peck? Really? That probably won't even kill. It will. Okay. It's out of arrow blasts. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Wouldn't matter anyway, though. We're faster than him. Which is expected, and we have like 90-something speed or something, I think. 
It's something crazy like that. All right, here we go. Here's where we're gonna use our last uh, sacred fire, and it'll kill in one hit, and we'll get our fourth gym badge. Boosh, B drill. You did, son. Uh, let's see what the TM is. I'm, I'll be excited to see what it is. It's usually Shadow Ball, I think, so. <clears throat> Probably not going to be as good as that move in this. TM30. I don't think it's something we've had before. Parish Song. Not really useful to us. I mean, it's not really that useful of a move, period, honestly. Like, unless your Pokemon is just worse than their Pokemon. I don't, or, you know what I mean? Like, worse and, like, it just can't kill it? I don't know. I don't know what the point of it is. Alright, now we can catch some Pokemon. Which is the second half of this challenge. <clears throat> we gotta get the gym badge, but we also gotta catch some Pokemon. I would like to have about a hundred when I go to, to Kanto. I don't need to battle like any of these trainers, so that I'm going to try to avoid. Oh, Rhyhorn. Great, don't have that yet. I probably want to put my other Pokemon in front here, but this shouldn't kill, even though it's level 16. Yeah. Hit it maybe once or twice more. Well, definitely once more, maybe, maybe twice more. Rock throw, not going to do, you know, a ton of damage to me. I'll hit it one more time. And it should be perfectly fine to catch. That flinch is really useful because it doesn't get to hit me again. <laughs> Just get in the Pokeball, Rhyhorn. No reason not to, dude. Alright. Rhyhorn is right here. <clears throat> Spikes Pokemon. 3'3", three three, 250 pounds. Big boy. Don't have to worry about that guy. He's not a traditional spinner in the sense that he just spins around, I guess, all the way. Give us a Scyther. Ooh, Electrode. <laughs> this... Oh, will this thing survive a headbutt? I'm gonna, it might. It did. Sweet. Yeah, that's not gonna hurt me, man. I'm gonna try better than that. Now, if you had Thunder, that would hurt me. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it because it's definitely gonna get in the Pokeball. No reason not to. And it didn't. Of course. Good thing I didn't mark it yet. It's gonna heal, too. That should be fine, though, as long as it doesn't heal all the way back to full health. Even if it does, we can just soft-boiled it. Which is not gonna be as easy to catch right now, since it healed itself a little bit, so... Sorry I keep hitting this, like, buckle thing down here. It's probably really loud on the mic, and I'm sorry for it. <laughs> Don't paralyze, okay. Just get in the Pokeball, Electrode. Do it for your old pal, Steven. Come on. Man, this guy. Alright, I'm gonna have to headbutt it again. It's soft-boiled. This is like the most annoying move when you're trying to catch Pokemon. It makes it almost impossible to tell until it gets back to full health. If you can hit something without killing it. Now I'll critical and kill. Oh my god, so close. It better get in the Pokeball here. There's no reason for it not to. Get in the Pokeball! Yes. Alright, Electrode is uh, marked. <clears throat> oh, who would have guessed it's a ball Pokemon? It's 3 foot 11. That's insanely huge. Imagine that. That's, like, that's bigger than Beach Ball sized. And it's a... It's a rolling around in electrocuting things, so. Almost as scary as a beach ball. <laughs> nope, don't wanna. Did I get it stuck there? I did, I got her stuck. Alright, gotta reload it. Oh. Oh my god. Move! Oh my god. Alright, should be safe. Oh my god, this is legendary. It's Volpix. <laughs> <laughs> Can it run? We might want to catch this thing just for 
the sake of having a level 40 Pokemon that we can just use a fire. <clears throat> uh, what am I trying to say? Firestone on to get a really strong Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna headbutt it now. Imagine if we catch this thing. That's gonna be amazing. I don't know if it can flee like the actual legendary dogs can. The only sucky part is we already have Vulpix, but it's good to catch it just because it's such a high level. Oh, we almost had it. Fire Punch, that's probably gonna kill us. It didn't. We have like one or two more chances if it, depending on what moves it uses here. Come on, get in the Pokeball. Yes! <laughs> Caught a level 40. Now we need a Firestone. If, if we had a Firestone, we'd have a pretty good team coming along here. Alright, so we know what one of the legendary dogs was, and we've caught it. So, one more. Oh, Victory Bell. This, oh, actually, it's only level 13. It may not survive a headbutt. I'm going to try it, though, just in case. If it does, I'll catch it. Pretty easily, I think. It didn't survive it. It's going to give me a lot of experience, though. What when my Casper is going to evolve? I'm very curious. I need to catch this Victory Bell. Another Electrode. I'll look for one more encounter. If it's not Victory Bell, I'll go ahead and leave. Get to Olivine. Like I said, I want to get at least the fifth gym badge, so. And it's, it's pretty far away. I got to uh, surf across the water from Olivine. <laughs> Grand Bull. Don't have this. This thing. Why am I not. Why do I not have these Pokemon out? Like, why don't I have Urshring out or something fighting these things? such an idiot when I play games, I swear, on stream. Body Slam, probably gonna paralyze me. Didn't. A Comet Punch, shouldn't do too much damage. Perfect. Body Slam hurts a lot. Gramble has really high attack, so... It's not a surprise that it's doing so much. Come on, Gramble, get in the Pokeball. I see him over there on the card. Oh, he's not going to get me. He's going to kill me. All right, I'm going to send back out my Casper. Yes, I definitely want... Man, how is his egg not hatched? This thing's got to be like a Lugia or something, right? Like, why is it not hatched already? It doesn't make any sense. Usually it hatches like when you get to... You know, like when you're running around Goldenrod. Maybe that's just because I, I haven't battled a lot of the trainers, but... It is kind of weird. That it hasn't hatched yet. I'm definitely not an expert on the egg mechanics in this game, though. Like, I haven't really messed... Like, I even though I've beaten this game like a hundred times, I've really never messed around too much with the breeding. It's like I've, you know, I've done it enough to get almost all the Pokemon before, but... As far as, like, the number of steps it takes to hatch, and if it's different for different Pokemon, like, I've never really delved into that. I do like how you can uh, put a Pokemon in there with the, in the daycare with the Ditto and get that Pokemon back, though. Like, that's pretty cool. All right, we got Gramble. He's right there. Evolves from Snubble. Fairy Pokemon, which isn't a type in this game, but weird that it's called a fairy Pokemon when that became a typing later. Nope, don't want to get you stuck there. All right, this is going to be very hard. Oh, shoot. Did I get you stuck? Nope. All right, we made it. Just barely. We gotta dodge that guy. Now, I think we have to battle a trainer here. Yeah, so we have to battle one of them. I think the guy only has a Pikachu. That may be wrong, but I think this guy only has a Pikachu, so we'll battle him. Let's see. I think I'm right. Well, he only has a Pikachu in the regular game. <laughs> He's a Rhyhorn here. <laughs> uh, double kick. Gonna take two hits. It might kill me before I can kill it, but that's fine. Oh my god, definitely gonna kill me. We do have revives for this very reason, but I won't even need to use it. I'll just kill it with my uh, Suicune. I should be faster than it, and it should kill in one hit. Well, not now, maybe. 
Really, dude, you're gonna use a berry? Really? Are you kidding me? I missed? Why does everything miss every time I need it to hit? I'm surprised that did that little damage to me. That may not kill. Okay, it did. 490. That may grow me a level. Nope. Just wrong about everything today. I did get up super early today, so I'm kind of tired. Like, I'm that weird version of tired where you're just kind of like loopy and stupid, but you're not like falling asleep tired. If you guys know what I mean, like, I'm sleep deprived tired, not just worn out tired. So we don't battle this guy here this time. So sorry, chat, but I don't get to battle you this time. We've got to go get uh, strength from the diner down here, or the cafe, I guess, as it's called. Then we need to... Oh, also there's a trade somewhere, and there's also the good rod. Here's a good rod. Yes, I would need this good rod just in case so we can get the fishing Pokemon. Which probably won't be the fish in this game. Up here, I think, is the trade. It's one of these two buildings. I always get it wrong. I think it's this one. Blastoise for Weepin' Bell, huh? Not really a fair trade there, dude. But, hey, whatever floats your boat, right? I'm not gonna do the trade, but unless I have to. Now, I need to buy more super potions. No reason to buy hyper potions. It's just overkill at this point in the game. Ten more. Buy a couple more revives and then buy some Pokeballs. Oh, they don't sell revives here, huh? They do sell Great Balls, though, so we'll buy some Great Balls. We'll buy 15 Great Balls. Probably not worth it for people who, like, religiously play Pokemon. I would tell you it's not worth it, but hey, what the heck, right? It's worth it to me. It was either Gen 1 and Gen 2 where, like, all the po all the Great Balls and stuff are broken, or it may I think it was just Gen 1, though, so... I could be wrong, but I think right here is the cafe where we get Surf from this guy. Yes, sir. HMO4 strength. Alright. Now we need to go uh, get to the, the top of the lighthouse. <laughs> I've made the mistake of going all the way to Cyanwood or Cyanwood, however you say it, and uh, without talking to, the, to Jasmine at the top of the lighthouse. And trust me, it's no fun because it is hard to get back and forth between the two towns. All right, I almost talked to that guy. I don't know if he's a trainer or not. I don't remember. There's a guy up here that normally is a gentleman who usually has a Growlithe. I remember that. So those holes will take you back back down a floor. But this guy here, I think we have to battle, so. I don't remember 100%, but I'm going to battle him anyway. He only has one Pokemon from what I remember. It's only like level 18 Growlithe. And now it's a Mew. So, uh, level 20. Excuse me. Going to be a lot of experience because it's going to one-shot him very easily. I was almost thought I was wrong there, but I wasn't. Wow, told me 270 experience from a Mew, really? 100 special attack at level 34. That's got to be good, right? That's another thing I've never really dived into, like the whatever they're called. Oh, I didn't mean to battle that guy. God dang it. The what, IVs or whatever they're called, EVs. I don't even remember. DVs. I think it's DVs in this game. Only two Pokemon for Huey. One is a Tyranitar, though, so... This is gonna take a couple hits, probably, unless I can kill it in one hit with Double Kick, which I doubt. Oh, I did, okay. I figured its defense was good enough that even though it's super effective, it wouldn't kill, but... Hey, what do I know, right? It's only level 18, though, so I guess. Not crazy. I'm gonna Sacred Fire the Fortress. Just to make sure I kill it in one hit. Seeing a boss from Pineco. They look almost nothing alike. <laughs> Only 450 experience from him, huh? All this is good money, though, so. Never too mad. Oh my god, I almost fought that guy. That's one thing I definitely do not remember on this game is the locations of all the trainers. Try to go a little bit slower than normal here. Probably have to battle this guy no matter what. Yeah. Figured as much. 
One thing I do know, though, it's a lot quicker to go down this lighthouse than go up it. Gentleman Preston's got a Togepi. That'll die in one hit to double kick. Level 18 Togepi. Boosh. Might not even take both hits to kill it in one hit. No, it will. Double kick, uh, not good for my cat, for my uh, Haunter. Haunter does not have good attack. Blossom, I'll go ahead and Sacred Fire this. Blossom is a very weird looking Pokemon. Oosh, 700 experience. I don't understand the experience on this game, dude. Like, that Blossom gives you 700 experience and Mew gives me 250? What? Um, okay, watch out. There we go. This guy I'm definitely gonna have to battle. Shoot. Why are there so many people I have to battle? I'm already so overleveled. Although Jasmine's a Pokemon, like, 35 is her highest, I think. And I'm not going to battle anybody in the water unless I absolutely have to. Like, if I accidentally run into them. I say absolutely have to, but m my real point is, like, be stupid enough to hit them. So I'm already over over Chuck's highest level, so... He hopefully won't be too hard. Charmeleon, huh? I'm getting so many Pokemon's areas. Oh, another thing. Um, I thought I, like kicked around the idea of like um using so look over at the board like using the or excuse me the blue to like mark pokemon that i've seen but then the board just becomes like a huge jumbled mess so i decided not to do that i decided you know what just having two colors on the board it's plenty white for pokemon i don't have black for pokemon i do have now which way there's an item down here tm43 check out what that is real quick 43 is pound. Okay, so all the TMs we've gotten so far, absolute garbage. Gonna have to battle this guy. I should be maximi or minimizing the time for them to walk to me, but I, I, like, there's a little sliver of hope inside of me that's like, oh, maybe they won't. Maybe, maybe I won't have to battle them, but I always do. All right, this guy may die to a double kick. I doubt it, though. Oh, it's actually not very effective. Or, no, he's... Okay, he's just ground-type, I guess. Weird. Uh, so I guess Shadow Ball is our best bet. This might not even kill him. Okay, it did. I always don't give Shadow Ball enough credit for how good a move it is. It's a very good move. Dawn Fan. This could get dangerous if it has Earthquake. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Dawn Fan is, uh... It is tough Pokemon. Bone Rush. Ooh, just barely not gonna kill? Okay. Why do you have to be so good, Dawn Fan? A lot of experience. Yep, 810. It was all a ruse. I'm in Red Bar now. I'm fine. <laughs> not really. Alright, this may die? Okay, it will. Okay. Wow. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would to Chansey. That Chansey went down easier than the Clefairy did that I fought before, I think. There's a guy down here, I think, somewhere. There's an item. Hard stone. Do I have to go down here? Is that what the thing is? Oh, wait. There's one of them where I... Oh, I think it's over here. I have to battle this girl. And it's right there, I think. And then I get in those, where those stairs are, and one of them goes down, and there's the TM that's normally Swagger, I think. And the other one goes to the right place. Oh, Sacred Fire, this guy. He should die in one hit, and I should be okay. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, wrong one. Mmm. Forgot about that little quirk. If you don't go on the left side, you have to battle this guy. I remember that now. He only has one Pokemon, though, so. It is a Swinub, which is my worst enemy in this game so far. 
Also, if you see me, like, keep looking down to my bottom right, it's because I'm looking at the chat. I'm just, like, it's just a, like, second nature to, like, look down here every few minutes. So, sorry about that. Sailor Terrell, or Terrell. Oh my god, that's going to come in handy so much. That's amazing. Alright, we don't want to battle this guy. Although, I think he's stuck, so I think I want to get this item. And go back up, and we should be okay. Heal powder, I want that. That may have unstuck him when I did that, though, which is bad. X special, toss it. So that's one thing about Pokemon games, is I've never... Like, I... I never use X items, because they're... What? You guys saw that? That was so what? You can't be serious. That was insanity. Is he... Oh, I'm not even going to try it. I'll just headbutt him. He should die to a headbutt. That was the most insane thing that's happened to me yet. Like, he was stuck for five minutes, and then he just goes... Oh, boop, 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 and looks up right at me. Crazy. After everything I've done for this game, and it hates me. <laughs> it's alright though, it's only a minute out of our way. Like I said, this is probably going to be like a 20 hour, 25, 30 hour thing, so... One minute here or there is really not going to break the bank as far as it goes, so... I enjoy playing the game, you know? It's not like I'm speedrunning it where if I fought that guy I would immediately reset the run. Alright, now we can talk to Jasmine. Our Ampharos is sick. Yep, I can go get it for you. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Just make sure. That's what I'm saying. That was the same, like, the same thing I was saying with the saving. He's like, you gotta make sure, right? Like, you don't want to go all the way back up here again. And here's what I was talking about going down to way easier than coming up. And we're down. See how simple that was? Alright, now we'll go heal our Pokemon and we we will start the long road over to the next town that I cannot pronounce. I've never known how to pronounce it, and so I won't try. We also need to get our Vulpix out, so I may have to end up healing my Pokemon again. I'll get rid of Seal, since I have Suicune. Suicune should be able to learn Surf. Seal may have had our other TM, so we may have to reteach it. Not a big deal. What? How many... What's our box situation like? I may change boxes. 13 out of 20? Nah, that's fine. Alright, let's see. Let's see our Vulpix. 89 health, which is exactly as much as our Casper. Super Fang, Sacred Fire, Fire Punch, and Sunny Day. Oh my god, that's... That's a really strong... Almost all fire type set there. Okay, and another thing about this game. Oh, I got a cheap surf. 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 Why'd I say surf? Um, another thing about this game is I've never really 100% remembered how to get down to the next town from here. I just kind of like stumble my way through it until I get there. But I think I can just go pretty much straight down and then over to the left a little bit, I believe. Not straight down from here, obviously. Eevee, that's amazing. This should survive a headbutt too, so we should be able to catch this thing. Which will be amazing for if we do end up having to breed to catch all the Pokemon. But I don't think I should have to. I'm not going to waste a Great Ball on this thing, it should go into the ball pretty easily. Where is Eevee on the old, uh... There it is. Caught it. There's Eevee down. Alright, we're at 38. So 12 more to 50. I wanted to get to 50 before we end this part, so... We've got plenty of chances left. I don't know why I went this far to the right. I knew I'd have to fight, fight this trainer if I did that. And he probably has like 6 Pokemon. You always go all the way to the left. Like right in line with... Ugh, the rocks over there. Magneton, this will die to a sacred fire, but... <clears throat> making so many mistakes, man. 
just fighting things I don't need to fight. It's just so frustrating. But it's fine. At least we know where Magneton is now. I think we, we've probably already seen it before, but at least for sure we know. <laughs> at the end of the day, even if you're fighting trainers, you're there's a chance that you're getting to see Pokemon you haven't seen yet. Um, I'm not going to take a chance that it doesn't die to Headbutt. I'll just go ahead and Shadow Ball it make sure it dies. And like I said before, it's all money. 320 only, but... I'll go right here. Don't want to fight that trainer. Don't want to fight this trainer. Just go straight down. Don't want to fight anybody while that route thing's up on the thing. Alright, give me a Pokemon I haven't seen. Give me Electabuzz. Ursaring. Imagine if it was Electabuzz, though. That'd be insane. That's just slightly higher than our Ursaring level. If it moved down there, I was done. Now, do we... Okay. I think we should fight this girl here. And then we'll keep going down. Worst comes to worst, I'll look at the town map. But I think we can just keep going down. And I think we have to go slightly left. And then I think we're there. Dugong. Will this die to a... It should die to a Shadow Ball, right? Surely it will. Don't prove me wrong, Dugong. Whoa. I did not expect that. Level 20 Dugong. Who'd have thunk it? They're tough, man. They're tough little gongs. 750 experience. Pidgeot. Um, I'll headbutt it. Two headbutts in it. No, wow. Three headbutts. Huh. <laughs> Keep using mirror move, I dare you. Flinch. Solar beam. Did the last Pidgeot we the last Pidgeot we fired Solar Beam too, didn't it? I swear it did. Eight hundred experience, perfect. All right, now watch out for trainers down here. Give me Crobat. Geo dude, perfect. I don't even. I think we may have seen like one Geo dude before. This definitely won't die to headbutt. <clears throat> may not even die to like two or three headbutts. Yeah. Perfect. Hit it again. Flinch again. Uh, rock slide. That I mean, that probably do like 10 or 15. Yeah, wow, that did more than I thought. It did 20 almost. 19, I think. Alright, flinch. <gasps> Ooh, that was almost bad. Where is Geodude right there? Got him. This definitely should get in. Who would have known it was a rock Pokemon? Whoa. Alright. I think I need to go left here. Pretty sure. Oh, Entei! Freaking sweet, dude. Level 24. Don't die, Inte. You definitely shouldn't die. Okay. Encore, sweet. I'll use Headbutt again. Don't use Encore again, though. Don't you do it. Fire Blast. That's going to do quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. Ooh. Oh, it didn't, it didn't burn, though. Now. Oh, I should have used a Great Ball here. I should have used a Great Ball. Yep, definitely should have used a Great Ball. Substitute, that's fine. Alright, now I will use a Great Ball. Boosh, get in! Stay! Wow, it broke free immediately. That's gonna kill me, right? Am I dead? I definitely am, right? What is happening? Ouch. Definitely gonna use next Pokemon and just send out Vulpix, and then we should be okay. Look at Vulpix, man. It's so cute. 
I don't want to accidentally use my Master Ball. I gotta save those for the, the level, you know, the higher level. What the heck, man? Is this like, is it like impossible to catch it when it's in substitute? Also, what is this like substitute fire blast sound effect weirdness that's going on right now? It doesn't make any sense. Get in the Pokeball. If it breaks out immediately again, okay. Yes. Entei is caught. Alright, the only one we don't have is Reiku. That's the one chat has. Six foot seven is how tall it is. It's five inches taller than I am, dude. What the heck? Another encounter. Give me Weezing. Another Geodude? Shoot. Alright, we're at 40, though. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Oh, shoot. You know what I should do? Uh, put my Vulpix out. Alright, there we go. And we should be straight to the left here. Should be... The city that we need to get to. And we'll be able to battle Chuck. And get Fly. And get the, uh... All that jazz. Should be just straight over here, right? And down maybe just a bit? Yeah. Now, I forget if we can battle Chuck while we're... I think we can, right? Before we go back to the... Also, we can get a Pokemon. We can get Shuckle. Wait, well, it's not Shuckle in this, but... It's normally Shuckle. Alright, let's deposit a Pokemon. How is our egg not hatched? Deposit. Let's deposit Ursaring. Not really doing us any good. Alright, let's get this other Pokemon. And be on our merry way. Well, not be on our merry way. We've got other stuff we need to do. This guy right here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take it. What is it? It looks like... I'm gonna guess Crobat. It is Crobat. Nice. Perfect. Didn't have Crobat before. And now we do. Let's check his item. Oh, no. Not what I want to do. Oh, item sword space full. Throw something away. I feel like it's not going to be anything good. I'm going to get rid of this. Smoke ball is really not useful. I feel like it's mail or something. Oh, it's a berry, okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw away some items that I don't need. Not what I was trying to do. What can I throw away? Repel. Um, don't want to throw that away. I definitely want to throw this away. Um, flying type now. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. hard stone powers of rock type moves. I'll throw away the berry. It's so <laughs> dumb to have a berry at this point in the game. Alright, here's where we get our medicine. The lighthouse Pokemon is indeed in trouble. Now, can we go ahead and battle Chuck? I believe we can. Alright, Pokemon. Uh, move Casper back in front. I don't remember which trainers have the most Pokemon, so I'm just going to battle everyone on the left. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Only one. Nice. Oh, of course it's a Mew. Now, the level 20 Mew died in one hit. Will the level 27 Mew die in one hit? I do not know. It's a toss-up for me. If it doesn't, it should have a very low, low amount of health. Yeah, okay, it didn't die. That is going to do a lot of damage to me. Mew is definitely a better Pokemon than... Uh, okay. And it criticaled me. Perfect. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Just wrecked me. Uh, let's see. Super Fang. I mean, Sacred Fire, right? I really wish I had a Firestone. 
turn this Vulpix into a nine tails. Oh, so you do have to battle both sides. Wow, that's uh, not friendly at all. This guy probably has like four Pokemon too. Oh, he only has one, okay. Magneton. Oh, this will be perfect for my... Uh... Oh, but Celebi's out first. Pokemon, send out Vulpix. Do not paralyze it or anything of the sort, please. Triple kick, that's fine. Don't even know what it kicks Vulpix with. Doesn't have uh, Magneton doesn't have feet, but hey, what the heck, right? Fire Punch should kill. If not, it's no big deal. One more and it will. All right, killed. Perfect. Celebi grew level 14. <laughs> Black Belt Lao. All right, let's heal our uh, our Casper. Revive, use, Casper. Um, yeah, I'm not going to Super Potion yet. We definitely need to teach Strength to a Pokemon, and we're going to have to teach Fly to a Pokemon. Do we have a Pokemon that can learn Fly, is the question. Let me look over here. Firo. Firo can learn Fly, definitely. Crobat could... Oh, uh, Crobat could learn Fly. Probably. Should be able to, right? Gyarados? Man, I don't know. I guess Shadow Ball's our best bet. This Gyarados could kill us very easily. Is it... Yeah, what is it using? Is that Sky Attack? A lot of experience. 1146. That may be the most we've gotten from any Pokemon so far. It's not even its only Pokemon either. This chance you should be pretty easy to kill, though. No big deal. Double kick. Is it going to die in one hit? Yes, it is. Just barely, though. Unless something crazy happens. Nope. Wow. That may be the most experience we've gotten so far. <laughs> They're both by this guy. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Casper's evolving! Gonna have our Gengar. Good job. What level was that? What level did it evolve? Like 38? Weird. What level was that? 37? That's so weird. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I wanna teach my TMs. Or my or HM strength. I have to, actually. Okay, so uh, back to the Pokemon Center we go. That was terrible. Why can nothing learn strength? Imagine if literally nothing in my PC could learn strength. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change boxes while I'm doing this. Deposit. Celebi doesn't have anything. I'll store it. Withdraw something that can learn strength. Entei should be able to learn strength, right? I mean, surely Entei can learn strength. I'm going to check if it can learn strength before I change boxes. Just because you never know. Okay, I was going to say. If Entei couldn't learn strength, that's weird. Encore, Fire Blast, Substitute, Flame Wheel. I'll get rid of Encore. <laughs> Alright. Switch boxes. Yep, 17 Pokemon. Tactical box switch. How has our egg not ha egg not hatched? Did I already heal Pokemon? I don't remember. I'll do it anyway. It's only, what, 10, 12 seconds? How long have I been streaming for, I wonder? 345? I've probably been streaming for like an hour. That's fine. Although, I may have to use the bathroom here soon. So I may have to call the stream. Which is a weird thing to say, but ever since I got my gallbladder taken out, trust me, guys, it's a real deal. Okay, what do I do here? Okay. Yep, strength. Up, up, left, and boosh. Boosh! What did it say? Is raging what? Well, <laughs> well, shatter boulders or whatever? This guy probably has like two Pokemon, three. Okay. Black Belt Lung. His name's Long. Aqua Long. Uh, let's see. Shadow Ball should kill. Look at that Gengar. He's so beautiful. 103 health. I want to see his stats when we when we grow level. 
I'm actually very curious how much his stats grew from our uh, Haunter. Shadow Ball again. This should one-shot kill for sure. And this may grow us a level. Nope, it didn't give us that much experience, honestly. Muck. The third Pokemon in the first gen that is uh, another word backwards. <laughs> Smog. Hurry up, for Christ's sake. Taking up my valuable time. 41 Pokemon? Not bad, not bad, not bad. 123 special attack, 103 speed. Wow, it's pretty freaking good, dude. All right, Chuck. What's up, Chuck? Beat this guy and his wife will give me fly. Yeah, I don't care if you can break boulders, man. You can't beat me in a Pokemon battle. That's all that matters. Am I right or am I right? Leader Chuck sent out Polyrath. Wow, he still has a Polyrath. That's so weird. Shadow Bowl. Will it kill in one hit? I would say no. Yep, I was right. Octazooka, that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Yep. I love Octazooka, man. It's such a good move. Alright, what's the second Pokemon? Articuno. This could be very hard to kill. Oh, actually, why did I not use Sacred Fire there? I'm so stupid. That would have killed in one hit. That was really dumb of me not to use Sacred Fire there. I don't know about you guys, but I get really mad at myself when I just do, like, the stupidest stuff. Like, it's Ice-type. Why would I not use Sacred Fire? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you lost, dude. Get 6,000 bucks? Really? I mean, I'll take it. That's freaking good. TM01. That's usually Dynamic Punch. It's Leer. Why is every TM terrible on this? Alright, give me Fly. Yeah, I did. I beat your husband in hand to hand combat. He's getting a little bit chubby. That's so freaking disgusting. Why would you say that to a kid? Alright, now Crobat should be able to learn Fly, right? Like, you guys agree, Crobat should definitely be able to learn Fly. We'll see, though. We shall see. Fly. He can indeed learn Fly. Okay, I was gonna say. If he couldn't learn Fly, I was done. Get rid of Smog. Alright, let me see. Let's go ahead back to uh, Olivine and we'll go to the Lighthouse and then we'll beat Jasmine. I think we'll call it a day there. Uh, let's see. Olivine. I know I said we want to get to 50 Pokemon, but... Starting to not feel too great. Like I was saying before, so... Hopefully we don't battle any trainers that we missed the first time. That'd be very unfortunate. Battled that guy already. Oh my god. We must have battled that guy too. Didn't battle that guy, so I'm glad I dodged him. Battled this guy. Probably still gonna move over. See, here's how you're supposed to do it. Then you just go over here and you're in. This guy we dodged, so I don't want to battle him. Don't want to do that. Don't want to move yet. Nope. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Wait, did we end up battling him? We did, that's right. That's the guy that screwed us. Yeah, he's feeling good. He's feeling good. 
Sweet, she's going back to the gym. Run! What if we could beat her back to the gym? That'd be awesome if we could. Just end up at the gym before her. She's like, wait, what? We're like, too slow. I never did get the bike when I was in Goldenrod. And that's uh, haunting me right now, because I just keep having to walk everywhere. I need to go back and get that now that I have Fly. Alright, let's battle you. You're going down. Gyarados. Two hits for Gyarados. Sky attack again. It's level 30, too. Like, her Pokemon are no slouch. Like, she has level, what, 35 Steelix or something? Like, that's tough. Especially because you battle her almost immediately after battling Chuck most of the time. The only thing that, that really saves me when I play this game is I almost always pick Cyndaquil, so I pretty much only always have a either a pretty high-level Koalava or a Typhlosion at this point, which is Fire-type, so it just rinses all of our Pokemon. Most of the time, so. Alright, last Pokemon. Unknown. This is going to die in one hit, probably. Right? It's Psychic-type or Dark-type? I feel like it's Psychic-type, so it should die to Shadow Ball, right? Yes. Okay, sweet. Seven thousand bucks that time. Mineral badge and TM twenty three. Extreme speed. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. All right, guys. I know this has been a little bit of a shorter part, but and I want to apologize for that. But like I said, I'm just not really feeling that great right now. Um, so the next part I'll try to make uh, quite a bit longer than this part. I should be back here tomorrow um, or at around the same time. So uh, I'll see you guys then. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, take care.